G'day guys, welcome back to Stat Chat Sports, another one of our season preview videos. Today, we're talking about Adelaide and Tazza, again, just the two of us uh, here, and we're getting through our season previews beautifully. Yeah, I don't know where the boys are. Look, they're really letting the team down, but we will we will carry the flag and we soldier on. And we'll do it justice as well. We're talking Adelaide today. Uh, we are predicting Adelaide to finish 12th, so... A nice little climb from last year, and I think Tazza, the signs are good. There's good, uh, there's good young talent here, and we're expecting the next level of their progression in 2023. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they're adding pieces as well. Um, that forward line for me is insane. Oh yeah, I mean, it, this is this that is a, a top eight forward line, but it's the rest. It's it's the little other bits around the ground that really let this team down. You know, it's quite disappointing because there are some there are some major game winners in that forward line. You got Isaac Rankin, Darcy Fogarty, Josh Rochelle, Taylor Walker on his day is still very good. Absolutely. Um, Riley Thilthorpe is still coming through, and Pick I think two. this is the year where he can probably um, really see an, an uptick in his game. But yeah, that defense it, it, it's a worry. It's a yeah. huge worry. Uh, I, I think they put a lot of eggs in the Fisher Mackesy basket. He yeah, was a top top ten draft pick. Disappointing, isn't uh, it, to to lose a guy yeah. that early? Um, and like you said, a big investment and just has not paid off at all. So that, like you said, certainly sets him back. But there's not a lot to like in the back line aside from really um, Dude and Brody Smith. Um, yeah, it's 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 pretty slim pickings. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Josh Worrell, we've seen sort of bit, bits and pieces. Butts is half decent. Butts is serviceable. But it, he's not a guy you're going to pin your defense on. Absolutely not. Uh, Tom Dude is the centerpiece of this defense. And just while we're on Dude, hugely unlucky, un, unlucky oh, not to get their captaincy. I know. He, might, he would be spitting chips. Absolutely. I, he, I mean, he was a stand in for Sloan. That. I can't believe it. He has every right to be dis- bitterly disappointed at the Crows hierarchy. And the new kid on the block, Jordan Dawson, one season with the club, and he's he's straight in. Uh, it's an interesting call. I I haven't looked into this. Was this is a playing group decision, or is this a like you said a, a Crows hierarchy decision? Ah, uh, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm just going to pin it on the hierarchy for now. I mean, yeah, without that. digging too far. <laughs> Why not? Don't blame the players. Uh, they've, they've got enough to worry about. Exactly. I, I don't think that's something you're going to put on the players straight away. So, um, but he, yeah, I don't know. Dawson, don't get me wrong. Jordan Dawson's a great player, and I really wanted him to go to Port Adelaide because I think he's he is a huge talent. But I, I'm not sure after being at the club for one year. You can you can call them captain material. I don't care how much of a leader they are. They probably don't know how like the blokes that well. Hey, look, you're just dirty as a Port Adelaide supporter about the fact that he absolutely <laughs> killed you guys after the siren. Yeah, just admit it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Not gonna <laughs> lie, yeah, I'm <laughs> filthy about that. I I was I was up and out of the seat when I saw that kick go, just swing right across, and then I was straight back in on my ass when uh, when I went through the big sticks, but. Yeah, look, we'll move on. But, yeah, that, that defense is a worry. It, it's not great. Um, and, yeah, I, I mean, the midfield's fine there. I think they've got some pieces. Rory Laird you sure? dominated last year. I, I'm, I, not, I'm not sold on this midfield either. I think it lacks a lot of depth. It leaves a lot to be desired, desired I think. Yeah, it, it, it's dependent on how much. I mean, Sloan's getting on. They're probably not going to get much out of him. Uh, I think they've seen... A lot of growth of Barry last year. I don't mind him as that sort of contested that he is a tackling machine. Ben Keys needs to play midfield. Mm. That forward experiment, they need to get rid of that because although he was having an impact, there's enough guys in this side to have an impact. And I think that's what Rankin it will will pretty much shift Keys back out. Yeah. Uh into the midfield. But I mean, I'm going to go straight to my breakout play here, but probably not a guy who's going to have an insane amount of impact, but Luke Pedler. Okay. I think this is his, he, from all accounts, he, when I say 
midfield. He, he's been playing off a half forward, but I think he will spend about a bit of time in the midfield. He is a bit of a ball winner, contested ball winner. Uh, and I think this is his time to shine. He's had two years in the system. Uh, he's only played the five games, but they definitely rate him highly. He had to get his body right. And by all accounts, he is looking very good this season. Early draft pick as well. He's turning 21 this year. So uh, it's a good shout. And and so you see him really forming a key part of that midfield rotation this year? Yeah, along with, I mean, we saw a lot of Salego last year as well. I think it, they'll give him... Uh, even more time. Look, the, the comment about Sloan, he, he's probably not going to spend bugger all time in that midfield. It's If they want to keep him fit, it, like we spoke about, um, me and BT with Shuey, they, they kind of need to wrap him up in yeah. cotton wool a little bit. I think it's another one of those stories. So we will see a lot of young guys. You, you buries your Schoenberg. Is he going to is he gonna, uh, uh, realize his potential? Um, yes, Lego, Pedler. I think they're going to see a bit of rotation through that midfield. And as we said, it it the depth is not there yet. They need to prove it this year, and they are a very young side. Seventeenth uh, in the comp for both age and experience is this Adelaide lineup. So, yeah, they, they've certainly got some development coming through, and we're expecting to see that uh, this year. Question for you: Without notice, we've got the Crows in twelfth. Do you think that's the cutoff for Knicks to keep his job in 2024? Because uh, as far as I see it, another season in the bottom four, and uh, I think the jungle drums, they start beating. Yeah, yeah. No, I think you're right. I think that's the bare minimum for them this year. Uh, you, you can you can say all you want. Oh, it's, it's a rebuild. It's a team. We're doing the rebuild properly. There's enough talent in that team there's enough we, we we've talked about the lack of a graders and the lack of elite players there is enough in that team to at least i had them in 10th and i i think they're a genuine chance of getting there i don't think they're a bad team at all but there are some there are some game winners in that uh in that team i mean you look at ranking i think darcy fogarty's gonna go to a, a new level and this year to. i think there's going to be a changing of the guard um between him and walker I think that's that's going to be, a, uh, you know, um, he'll hand the keys to that Adelaide forward to him. Pardon um, the pun. Yeah, Rochelle. In case. I like it. Yeah, see, yeah there, you go. there. there yeah. you go. There you go. I didn't mean that, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I, I do think there's enough. Uh, Rory Laird in the middle. He, he can be accused of butchering the ball a little bit, but as, in terms of winning the ball, there aren't many better in the comp. So... There is, and Jordan Dawson too, who is an, an elite player, so, uh, elite wingman, halfback. So we're talking about elite players here. So you've mentioned a few. Give me one. Who's the best All Australian chance in this Adelaide lineup for this year? If if the selectors, I mean, we say this every bloody year. If the <laughs> selectors could pick a bloody team, and the way it's meant to be picked, wingers, it's Jordan Dawson for me. Yeah. He, yeah. he does play a bit of a halfback wing, but his best footy is played on a wing. It's pushing out of halfback and taking the ball and bringing it inside 50 because he has a deadly kick. Oh, yeah. And that's the biggest reason why I was so sour about, about um, Port missing out because Port loves to spray the ball and do absolutely bugger all with it. He is the guy that can... You look at that forward line, he's the guy you want giving him service. So you want him sitting on that wing taking that ball from from the midfield and just throwing it in the 50. Or not throwing it, just giving bullets into the 50 because he is he's great. Yeah, makes a lot of sense to me. Um, last little segment we love to do on these season previews is an under-the-pump player. So someone that just needs a big season or they might be in a bit of strife. Who are you looking at? So this is really easy for me. This is a guy who has been in and out of the team a former All Australian. This, this is what makes it all the more confusing. It's Matt Crouch. Mm. He, I, I, I honestly don't know. I, I, I like Matt Crouch, and I probably don't follow him follow him closely enough to see why, just why he's out of the team. Clearly, they're going in a different direction, in a, in a youth direction. But 
he he needs to really step it up or he needs to do something different. I'd, it's, it's too late for him to add a, a bow to his game because he's, like we, like we like to say, the wrong side of 25. Oh, yeah. But, but he, yeah, he's an All-Australian. Is it only, what, four, only five years ago? But, yeah, it, five, six years ago. It's been that long since the Crows made the grand final. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, he was huge that year. He was the Malcolm Blight medalist. He was, he was insane that year. And, but, yeah, he needs... He needs a huge process. He needs to do something else because he's really not getting Nick's attention. I gotta be honest. I think the game's past him. I think he doesn't have the pace and he doesn't mm. use the ball well. So, what do you what do you do with that? That has been a knock on him. He, he's always been handball happy too. I think he's he, he's a bit of a yeah a one a one trick pony. I think he just yeah he he's his spread is fine, but he's just one dimensional. I think. And that that's really when Adelaide are looking in a different direction. You can leave those guys behind at this point. I think it might, it, it's probably a good thing if the Crows don't play Matt Crouch a lot this year. Let's be honest. And mm. that's that's not a knock on... Well, it is a knock on Matt Crouch, and that's not a nice thing to say. But if he's not playing, it means the young guys like Pedler and like Mr. Legos that you've mentioned earlier, that they're coming on and they're getting the opportunities. So, yeah, if you're a Crows fan, you almost... You, you want to see a little lesser crouch. Yeah, oh, he, he's just taken up a spot you know, in, in that midfield rotation, and he's not going to be in the next premiership team. We all know that. So, I mean, they're, they're not winning one in, in three, four years, if that. So, yeah, I, I think it's you're better off biting these young guys and just getting the time into them. Yep, I agree completely. So, Crows fans, if you agree with us and you're, you're happy with this rating, let us know. I know last year there was a lot of Crows fans and um, they called us out. We had the Crows in 17th. People weren't happy with that. Uh, they didn't have a good season, so I don't think we were we were that far off the mark. But uh, There's looking, no Luke Brown this year too. Yeah, Luke Brown. We can't has, get confused this year and we got ripped for that. So, cheers, I, Luke Brown, for retiring and saving us the heartache there. Don't say we. I mean, this was all you calling <laughs> Luke Brown the young man. No, we're a team. We're ah. a team, mate. <laughs> yeah, we are a team here at Stat Chat. And uh, you've done well, mate. You've done well on this podcast. Um, we have another season preview coming up in two days' time. Um, there's, there's a few teams so far that we haven't spoken about yet that people will be going... Where are these guys? I, I, it's going to be interesting. I'll say that much. So make sure you stay tuned. Two days time should be an absolute cracker of a podcast. Until then though, we'll catch you then.